Hello, Phoenix Country Club members, and welcome to a special edition of Bud's Buzz. Today, sitting next to me, uh, we have our new director of instruction here at Phoenix Country Club. His name is Guy Shaw. Hi, welcome, Guy, to the Phoenix Country Club family. Glad to be here. You'll notice uh, Guy has a A, a funny accent, um, so he's fitting, gonna fit real well into this group of talented professionals that we have around here, both in tennis and golf and. So welcome, Guy. Tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, how you got to become here at Phoenix Country Club and uh, how you started the game. So I started uh, playing golf when I was like 12 or 13. Um, fell in love with the uh, game from there uh, and then started to go to take my British PGA around sort of 17. Um, went through my Class A um, and then started playing professional golf tournaments from there. Started playing professionally, so you played professional golf and? I played semi-professional uh, soccer. Uh, that was, I was on Leicester City's books as a Leicester boys uh, up until about sort of 18, 19, um, and then went on to play for like a, a lower tier, like a, a bit like a triple A sure. uh, type of uh, team for soccer at the same time as uh, turning pro. And what, uh, what got you hooked on teaching golf? Teaching golf, the one thing that really sort of jumped out to me was when I started uh, teaching, we used to have a, uh, a blind golf day uh, where we had a lot of blind golfers come in and play like a golf society. Uh, and I started teaching a few of them. And once I started teaching those blind golfers, it really sort of overwhelmed me on their reaction when they hit a good shot. The, to, to hear the strike of the shot really sort of got me into that sort of teaching role more than uh, more than playing. Wow, that's great! What a way to what a way to fall in love with uh, teaching. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. What do you think, uh, from your perspective, what is probably one of your greatest strengths as an instructor that you bring? Uh, best strength I would say that I have as an instructor is I keep things very very simple. I'm very approachable. Uh, I don't like to feel like that I'm giving them all this information and making them think, well, I haven't got a clue what this, uh, this person's talking about. I think just to keep it very simple, keep it fun, always have a smile on your face. <laughs> I think it's you a, do that it's well. Forever. Thank you. You do that well. <laughs> do you have any uh, stories, that memorable uh, teaching stories that you could maybe share the with? One, uh, the one teaching story is to do with the blind, blind golf. So we have that golf society day and what we did to raise more money for, for, for blind, just in general, blind awareness was, we had just a nine hole where the golf pros, we had nine golf pros, um, we were blindfolded, and then we had a caddy that would walk around with us and take us around the golf course. And uh, our golf course, the, the, the eighth, I think it's the seventh or eighth uh, hole at uh, the golf course, it's got a little pond about probably 60 or 70 yards from the green. And I did the tee shot, and just from sort of hitting it, I know that I'm a lefty and I've hit it off to the left a little bit. And uh, my partner, my caddy's walking with me, so he's got his arm tucked in mine. I'm walking, and I just feel as if we're going not to the left. He's sort of taking me to the right. Well, he proceeds to walk me straight into the pond. <laughs> I go chest high in the pond. Nice. <laughs> And everybody, there's quite a few people sort of watching stuff. Everybody started laughing. It was. Uh, I'm sure at that point you completely respected the oh, fact that it's not easy oh, very, not having your eyesight. Yeah. Very, very difficult to get them as a, as a blind golf, to get them set up and go through your, your aim, your grip, your stance, your ball position, your posture, to get that in place is, yeah. is, is key. Yeah, that's awesome. What a great story. Tell our membership, if you don't mind, what types of, of uh, clinics, concepts what are what are some of the things they can expect here as you unleash your talent over the so next several and, months uh, Kimberly Clarkson we're, we're trying to put a couple of sort of flyers together for clinics that we're going to be doing going forward in the next sort of two or three weeks um, we've got a couple of uh, ladies playing clinics uh, Friday afternoon couples clinics Saturday morning clinics junior clinics uh, happy hour clinics we're going to see how they go but we might sort of alter those a little bit just to see what the members needs are uh, for, for clinics there might be more in the afternoon doing sure. more happy hour clinics where you're having a cocktail while you're standing there putting it might sure. be something like that or it might be more 
explain. Yeah, you mentioned uh, all about having fun, so having I'm fun. sure that fits Correct. into the, into yes. the program. Yeah. So I'm, I'm sure they're interested. Uh, any personal life stuff you'd like to share with us at all? Well, married, been married 20 years. That was a couple of weeks ago. Uh, wife, name was Nicola. Uh, she's from England. She's originally from Margate on the uh, south coast, right down on the south coast. But she moved up to Leicestershire, where I'm from, uh, when she was about 11. Uh, but no kids. No uh, kids. Happily married for, for 20 years. Love our lifestyle in Phoenix. We moved here uh, about 15 years ago. Yeah, very good. At the... Uh, at the opportunity to disclose what you like to do for fun outside of teaching golf what would you uh, soccer. What'd you play soccer soccer uh, now I played soccer still indoor up to about three years ago but my hip as I'm, I'm yeah. getting older 48 years old now it's uh, I can't run around the football pitch anymore. sure sure um, I love one of my second loves which is a bit different uh, is remote control cars Remote control cars. Remote control cars. I used to uh, race uh, remote control cars. So uh, occasionally with the kids' uh, clinics, uh, especially around Christmas time, I'd bring my little electric car and, and normally <laughs> I've had like a little frosted a snowman or a Santa sitting on the nice. car. Nice. So any out. member out there that's into remote control cars, uh, here's, a, here's a running buddy for you right here. Yeah. Um, Guy, we are extremely excited to have you here as part of the family and on our team and, and really what uh, your talent will bring um, to the caliber of golf that we have here at Phoenix no, Country thank Club. You, thank you, Dan. Thank you for the team for uh, inviting me onto the team. I'm really, really looking forward to it. And how can they start booking lessons with Guy Shaw? Uh, so they can, I think if you go onto the website, you'll see my actual bio on the uh, website it should have uh, my email which is just gshaw at phoenixcountryclub.com uh, also i think on there is my cell phone number as well Dan. right you can so book that way as well can book that way, yeah. awesome ladies and gentlemen thank you i'd like thank to introduce you. mr guy shaw okay thanks guy for that great interview and uh, welcome back to bud's buzz and if you haven't figured it out this is my costume for the halloween party tonight um, I'll let you get a side view of it real quick. There you go. And Boomer Sooner, Oklahoma Sooner. So big night today. We are lock loaded. Over 120 kids coming to receive a little candy from us. Socially distanced all the way, all the time. Super safe. Uh, we've got a big night outdoors here for dinner as well. Sold out. So uh, thank you all for the participation. Um, I'm going to take a time out and unleash the helmet for a minute. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the Schwab Cup as well. So as you all know, we had 300 tickets. We're about sold out on Saturday. Uh, I think we still have a few available on Friday and Sunday. So if you're still interested in coming, it's, uh, they are 35 per ticket. Uh, again, thanks to our managing partner, Troon, for their $15,000 donation to help underwrite the cost of the tickets to our members. So we thank them. Uh, but please do sign up. Uh, parking, we will send out all the information. If you have tickets coming, we'll send out all the information on where to park, uh, when to park, and also how to enter the club. So that's coming to you soon. I'll just let you know that all the parking will be at North High School for those three days. So anyway, we're excited. It's going to be an amazing event. 81 players are going to be here from the PGA Tour Champions uh, some great players as we understand so we're looking forward to an amazing week and uh, as you know as well today we open up golf um, we are unleashing that amazing golf courses on, on all of our members um, and it's in phenomenal shape out there so uh, thank you all I uh, hope you all have a, a great week with us here at, at Phoenix Country Club and until next week uh, cheers <laughs>